Hi everyone and welcome to another Filmstorm Studio tutorial and today we have a question from Hatham Mahmood and he asks I'm trying to make a shooter game so I'm having a problem with the IK because I want the player to be able to look up and down using the camera. Can you please help? And yes I can and we can either do it two ways we can do it via animation and in animation you'll probably see um, a couple of like you'd either have a look left, a look right, a look up and a look down then you blend between them depending on where your mouse is and that is um, a bit more complicated so let's um, do it the other way by using angles and a bit of math so all you need is a script it's provided by the Hutong Games guys and you normally find it up in the Playmaker ecosystem um, but you won't need that because I'm going to provide that in the um, the description so it'll be nice and easy for you guys to download. Um, Alright so now if we press play you'll notice that our character doesn't look left or right like we want her torso to actually look left and right. Um, so let's start getting that set up. So if you've been following my tutorials you'll see um, that we have a very certain camera system set up and you should be able to quickly follow through it's not that long to get to the camera part and once you have that we can continue so we have our main camera and all you need to do is create an empty object and we're going to call this guy camera forward yep, camera forward and we're just going to get the Z axis and push it way forward and we're also going to create another one we're going to create a camera forward and we're going to call this guy offset and there's a reason for that shortly but we'll explain that Make that a bit more forward. Perfect. Now we want to go to our spine, create another empty object, and this guy is going to be called the rotation calculator. And make sure you drag it back up to your player model, just up to the very top of it, so that way it will move properly. And basically, what these two are the rotation calculator is going to be the base, and the camera forward is what we're going to actually be turning around to make calculations based off um, the position in relevance to this and that's basically what this get angle y does so you don't have to worry about technical math that's what the, the script's for um, all right so let's go to the player model and we're just going to drop in a new fsm so let's whoop, let's maximize this guy and we're going to say the rotation look left and right up and down basically that's what it encompasses so we should call it the right thing all right so we're going to create a variable it's going to be a float it's going to be angle to front i'm going to turn on the inspector so we can see him let's go to state we're going to say looking we're going to create another state we're going to call this guy uh holding and we're going to create another state and we're going to call this guy getting ready to hold getting ready to hold because that's what we're going to be doing so from looking we're going to say create an event we're going to say to get ready link that up from getting ready to hold it can be just a straight finished and and holding we're going to say um, return to looking so um, it's one big loop that we've created and we should be ready to go now alrighty so in looking let me bring this guy up a bit so we have a bit more space. In looking, we're going to use the get angle y. And this is our script. So this is going to do all our calculations. So to start off with, our game object that we're going to be calculating from is, you guessed it, the rotation calculator. And the target will be the camera forward, not the offset, the forward. And we're going to link up the angle, just the angle, to angle to front, every frame. Perfect. Now, action browser, we're going to say float compare. We're going to compare the float of angle to front to 90. And if it is 90, if it's going to be greater than 90, that's when we're going to say, okay, you should stop and wait for the player to return back into that, um, into the correct thing. So we don't want the player to kind of spin around and get all twisted up. Perfect. We're going to say every frame. And now what we want to do is create a looking event. So let's say a look at. And what we're going to actually be turning is the spine one. I find, don't use the bottom spine, use the next one up from that. Because I find that gives you better results. 
And so that's spine one. Target object will be the camera forward offset. But let's just drag in camera forward because we need to make a slight adjustment and a correction. So let's just quickly um, turn off fluke pair so the thing won't end. This is just for for testing at the moment. So let's come into here. Let's just split the view. And now you can see that she's actually looking a bit lopsided and this is why we need the offset. So let's just make it so she's looking forward. All right, so that, that'll be good. Click out so that way we don't move the camera. And then we just need to come and find the camera forward. And we just want to move it to the right until she's looking like um, she normally does. So that looks pretty good. So just come up to transform, right mouse click, say copy component. This is going to copy all of the parameters. And you can stop it, go back to your offset and paste this guy in. And now you can see we have the updated um, component in here. So we can drag this back here. And so that's, that's perfect. So now we've got our camera forward doing a calculation. We've got our camera offset that the character will actually be looking at. So we're all good to go. Let's go back to player. Let's go down to rotation, look up left and right and down, all directions. And let's change this camera forward to the offset. So it's now the offset. Turn off, keep vertical, because we want it to look up and down as well. We want it to finish now. So let's say that. And instead of saying finish, we're gonna say to get ready. And that should be good. So when we're greater than 90 degrees, we're gonna say get ready to hold. And what we're gonna do now is actually get her um, rotation. So we're gonna use a quarter, quarter neon. <laughs> oh wow. And we're gonna say rotation of spine. And we're gonna say inspector. And what we're gonna do is go get rotation. Oh, not that one. We're gonna get this one. Let's just delete the agent. And what we're gonna get is the rotation of spine one, because that's what we're turning. Save it as the rotation. We're gonna do it in the space of self in every frame. And we also need to put another um, look at just so it keeps updating. So let's paste this guy above it. That's fine. And to make sure it finishes in exactly one frame, say next frame event, and the next frame we're gonna say finished. So this is basically one frame. This whole this whole state is one frame in the game, which is going to be perfect. Now in holding, all we're going to do is go back to looking, copy, float, compare, and the get angle, and paste this in here. And we're going to say instead of 90, we're going to say about 60 with a tolerance of five. And we're going to say if it is um, equal, we're going to say return to looking. So basically, when she returns, when the mouse returns back. Uh, we can finish and we can start looking again. But we need to also set the angle. This is what we got the rotation. So that way she doesn't just snap back and look weird. So let's say set rotation. And we're going to set the rotation of the spine one to the Quantera Neon. <laughs> I cannot say that today. And we're just going to say in the world and every frame. So we should be all good. All right, so let's close this. Let's close this and let's press play and see if it all works. There we go. So now she's looking and now you'll notice that if we um, look to the left too much, she'll um, she'll actually, she'll snap back. She shouldn't be doing that. But you notice when we come back, um, it's all working. It's probably because I haven't set a variable properly, but let's jump back in. Oh, and we're going to jump to the um, rotation. All right. So what haven't we done? We've, we haven't. We're getting the rotation, we're getting it in the self space, we're setting the rotation. Alright. Yeah, Alright, actually I think I know what's wrong. Is um if we go back to getting ready to hold, um let's turn off every frame on this one. And let's also turn on late update. So that's just gonna pretty much update the animation on top of it. So that should fix it, theoretically. Let's let's double check. Ah, uh, there we go. So now she, she actually stops and holds that rotation instead of snapping back to normal. So that looks, that looks great. And you'll notice that if we pull out the sword, she now um, rotates and she stops. And of course, you can always make the range of movement smaller. So you can always come to here and say, oh, I want it to be about 60. 
and when when she gets back to around 30 um, like that's as far as I wanted to go so now you notice she doesn't actually turn as far and yeah you can probably put a couple of states um, in to make sure she doesn't snap as much as she is you can put like a, a back a smooth um, look at back to front and that should fix that up but apart from that that's been this quick um, setup tutorial for a somewhat of an IK system yes it is kind of classified as one um, but it's more used with the scripts and that get angle Y that we um, set up here so of course if you have any questions um, please let me know um, but of course this has been Kieran for Filmstorm Studios um, please check out filmstorm.net which is the official site for Filmstorm you can also find lots of different assets and animations on there and there's also a free product of the month at the moment so I'm going to link that in the description so you guys can go download that and you can also use the coupon code for Stormy Night and yes that is not a pun for the company name and you can actually um, get 20% off because it's the launch month of the website. So thank you guys for watching and as always enjoy and I'll see you next time.